We're taking a look at power-hungry apps and giving you an idea of what they can do for you and why you may want them on your phone or your watch, even if you don't have the juice to support them. You're always near an outlet where you can plug in, right? All right. We've talked about some digital assistants like OK Google that listen all the time. And other ones like Smart Voice Assistant that listen, but you can turn the listening off so they don't eat as much power. And then, of course, one of my favorites, the Speech to Clipboard, which doesn't listen at all unless you touch the button to open another app or change your volume or do whatever you'd like. Perfect for a phone platform. Today, we're going to look at a power-hungry app that is all about taking notes. We're using your voice. It's called ListNote. Open ListNote. It's open here on the phone already, and as you can see, you can set up different categories. You can also open it on the watch, and when it comes up, you can do the same thing and add categories. So I'm going to add a category here on the watch, and we'll call it Notes using voice. Notes. And there we go. We just say submit and I've got that whole new category of notes. Let's dive in there. Let's dive in there on the phone as well. In a minute I'm going to show you how this is all set up to do what you're about to see. But for now let's just have some fun, shall we? Speech recognition. That's all you got to do. Hit the big blue button. We're off and running, period. Now you'll notice, comma, that I need to actually add syntax, period. By speaking clearly, comma, slowly, comma, and pausing from time to time, comma, I have the opportunity to capture everything I'm saying, period. Notice on both there's a yellow bar. When I stop talking, it starts moving down, comma. Got to get that punctuation in, you know, exclamation mark. Okay, I'm going to be quiet for a little bit, and you can see what happens when that bar goes down all the way. Oh, I just can't help myself. It's so hard not to talk, period. That bar is settable, and what it means is you can talk, stop, and think about what you're saying for as long as that duration lasts, period. When the time is up, comma, it will actually save your note, exclamation mark. That's a long 10 seconds, isn't it? Well, it actually did capture everything I said. And that note is done. I can do lots of things with that note. And you'll see that in just a minute. But before we do that, I want you to notice there's a continue speech option at the bottom. If I stop, tap it on both of them and pause it, There, now I can talk for just a second. I went back into the edit mode, but this time I have no time limit. Now, I could set a time limit from a few seconds to as long as you want, including infinity, and I have it set to infinite right now. And there's a reason for that. It's able to listen no matter what, even if I have five minutes of pause before I speak again. Let's check it out. New paragraph. Okay, comma. We're back on the note again, comma, and it's listening, period. You can see, comma, it works on both the watch and the phone, period. Want to see something really fun? Exclamation mark. Check this out, period. 
New paragraph. I just turned the power off on the watch, period. Do you think it's still listening? Question mark. Do you think it's still transcribing? Question mark. Let's find out. Period. Wow. Period. Wow. Wow. Period. This app will listen, translate, capture what I'm saying, even if the device is off. Period. New paragraph. There's more. Period. New paragraph. If I were to receive a phone call on either the phone or the watch, comma, and I take that call, comma, this app is still running in the background, period. If I talk clearly and slowly, comma, and so does the other person, comma, and we both obey standard syntax rules, comma, we could literally archive a transcript of our conversation, period. Now, comma, the app doesn't know who's talking, comma, but the text would go back and forth with the discussion, period. At any time you want to stop what you're doing, comma, all you have to do is hit submit. If you simply want to pause it, comma, you hit the pause button, period. When it's in pause, it won't add any more information, period. But if it's still going, comma, it will, period. New paragraph. So let's take a look at how this actually works, comma, and how you want to set it up so you can start writing your novel, your diary, your grocery list, period. Submit on both of them. There's the entire note. Oh yeah, pretty cool, huh? It's even more cool than this, watch. Press and hold, and I bring up all these different options. Locking it, editing it some more, viewing it full screen, I can throw it away, or I can share it. That's right, even from the watch. And when you hit the share with, it's sharing that note with any of the things that you have installed that will work with text. Like I can add it to Pocket, or I can send it on Bluetooth, or copy it to the clipboard, or email it. Or, as you've seen in some of my other videos, I like to put it into Note. Why do I put it into Note? In this particular Note program, and there it is, the entire transcript of what we've done. This Note program is set up to automatically send to my email address, to my Dropbox address, or to my Dropbox account, which I then on my Mac or PC can just access and drag and drop and work with from there. It's set up that it could go to the, oh, the Google Drive, all sorts of things. And all you have to do is either at the bottom of the note or at the top, drag, and it says release to send, and it's gone. Now I'm going to get that in email and I will copy and paste that transcript of what we just did in this video to the bottom of this YouTube so you can kind of see how well it did with the uh, word recognition. But it's as simple as that. If I don't want to keep it, I move it to the trash and it's basically gone. Amazing application. What you want to do in the settings Let's take a look at the settings. Oops, we're in the note program on this, aren't we? Uh, you can go into the settings and set certain parameters 
back up and restore your notes, rate it, your interface language, your themes, full screen edit, showing lines, a master password, note count, category startup, where do you want to begin, continuous speech recognition, the quick note timeout, all right, which is what we've done, is taking quick notes, and you can set that timeout up to 10 seconds. That was that yellow bar that seemed like it took forever to end. Ah, you can set it for a second or two, whatever you'd like. I've set it to the max. The continuous speech timeout, after the note has been saved and you go back in to edit it again, you have the option of setting it as well to anywhere you want if your fingers are nimble enough to actually touch the slider. I knew I should have done this one on the phone. Eh, we'll leave it there. You get the drift. You can move it back and forth, and the timeout will be whatever you set it for, and at that point it will exit the edit mode and again save the note automatically for you. Okay? I have it set to infinity on both of these, and that way it just keeps on going. You can enable cloud print in the Pro version and, of course, disable ads in Pro. Do widgets if you're on the phone. All sorts of things. The point here is that this is a power-intensive application. It's always listening. It's connected in and translating what it's hearing from you. It's really, really good at the translation. If you notice... The sentence structure works. The first letter of each sentence is capitalized. That's always a problem with Google voice recognition. I have capabilities of saying things like new line or new paragraph and exclamation mark, question mark. All those uh, features work with it. And it does a very accurate job of capturing what you're saying. So, super app something definitely worth looking into if you don't mind being plugged in or if you've got extra batteries or if the industry finally catches up with us and gives us the power we need to do what we want. It's called ListNote. It's in the Google Play Store. ListNote Pro, well worth the investment, is also available.